Hello everybody, my name is Jimmy Allison. I'm an Ableton Live certified trainer and I teach one-on-one -on -one lessons online. In this video, we're gonna get into some of the changes for the fades and automation in Ableton Live 10. One of the primary changes that you'll notice is you don't see the automation when you switch to arrangement view right away anymore. You now have to toggle automation mode on this button on the top right to see the automation and to edit it. And then you turn it off to hide the automation. And the shortcut key for that is A. We'll toggle between automation mode and basically we'll call it fades mode. In this mode, the fades are readily available on the clip. If you scroll over any clip, you'll see the little square boxes on the end of each clip box. So as an example, I'm gonna go ahead and fade this intro in a little bit. So I'm just gonna grab the intro on that little drop lead there. I'm gonna fade that in and I'm gonna fade in the little noise riser as well. And then you can of course adjust the slope by grabbing the middle diamond in the middle of the fade. Let's hear that. And let's make that fade a little bit more dramatic. And hear it from the beginning. Cool. Now, another thing you'll notice is if you try to adjust the clip size, if you grab it like where the clip title is, you don't really, you can't grab it there anymore. You have to move your mouse down and you have this like kind of area between the bottom of the clip and right under where the clip title is, where you get that little end bracket. So I can drag the clip back and forth now. So you just have to get used to that little workflow change. And I'm just gonna pull this clip back just a little bit to give a little break right there. Let's hear that. And another cool thing is the fades. That was a fade in. Now I'm gonna do a cross fade on this section right here where this little steel drum part comes in. What I wanna do is I just wanna fade it between the snare beat and the original beat. Just so it sounds a little bit more natural. And it's the same thing. You grab the little center marker right there to adjust how dramatic that crossfade is. Now this may take some getting used to, but one thing nice about this is when you switch over to arrangement view and you start working and, and editing and working on your clips, you don't accidentally draw automation because in Live 9 and previous, you would just click on the automation line and then you would sometimes accidentally create automation. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click the button to switch to automation mode. And in automation mode, it works very similar to the way it used to work. Um, there was a change, of course, in Live 9 where you single click to create a breakpoint instead of double click. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch to my mixer. We're gonna go ahead and use our reverb on this little drop lead. And I just wanna bring up the reverb. So I'm gonna select an area where I want the automation to happen. And as of Live 9, you single click on the line to create a breakpoint, but we don't want a breakpoint, we want a line segment. So I'm gonna scroll my mouse off just a little bit and you'll notice where I get that little blue line segment rather than a blue, little blue dot, just off. And I can click and I can drag that up. And what that does is it creates four breakpoints and a line segment. So that way I can just kind of shoot up the reverb for a second there. And maybe that's a little much, so I'm gonna bring it down. And let's go ahead and switch over to the delay. And let's give it a, a little smidge of delay at the end of there too. And now I just wanna do a little bit more automation. So let's go down to this noise section. I have an auto pan that I wanna automate. So what I'm gonna do is right click and do show automation new lane, which will actually give me the automation on its own lane so that I can edit it. And I'll make sure the amount is all the way to zero. Let's just solo out this little noise bit. So what I wanted to do is to kind of ramp up to like a kind of a climactic point right before it drops in. So I'm gonna raise up the breakpoint. I'm gonna delete a breakpoint. Well, let's hear that in the mix. And I might just go ahead and pull this back. And now notice now that I'm in the automation mode, I can grab the clip. In fact, I have to grab the clip from the clip title. So again, that's something you're gonna just have to get used to. 
And now let's go ahead and uh, switch this over to the mixer and change it to our reverb. And I want to add reverb towards the end. I'm going to just go ahead and ramp up the reverb on this just like I'm doing with the rest of it. And maybe add some delay right at the last bit there. Move that up just a little bit. And one thing if you notice, I've had Snap to Grid turned off, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn Snap to Grid back on. So now when I grab any automation, it'll snap it to the grid. If you notice before, it was kind of like moving around a little bit. It'll still move around, but to the grid. And now one last thing I'd like to point out, if you right click on the track, you can actually add lane for each automation envelope. Now I can see anything that I've automated will immediately populate itself in its own lane, which is really handy if I've done a lot of automation and I just wanna quickly see everything. And of course I can get rid of it. And the other thing that's really nice too is I can clear all envelopes. Say I just don't like anything, gone. And this is just a quick look at the new fades and automation in Live 10. If you wanna get more into detail, just go to help, help view and check out what's new in live. And then you can check out automation improvements. And I'd also recommend checking out the rest of the new features in live too. This is a really handy area to learn more about what's going on and what you're doing. Talks about some of the stuff I didn't talk about and some of the stuff I did talk about. Anyway, thank you for watching. My name is Jimmy Allison. I'm an Ableton Live certified trainer. I teach one-on-one -on -one lessons online. Check out austinabletontutor.com for more information.